So I'm gonna go to my next class. <laughs> Hi, my name is Manuel Pacheco. I'm a senior studying electrical engineering here at Rice University. This is a tall bike. I was born in Mexico with my family. Hope I don't fall off. And when I was six, I moved to Houston. Thanks. <laughs> when I came to school, I knew I wanted to do engineering. And then I started looking around at different departments, and I found that the electrical engineering professors were like really helpful, really open. And also I thought electrical engineering was, was pretty cool. It's like, it's around everywhere, but almost nobody really understands how it works. It's like your phone just kind of magically works with everything else. Hi, Ni Hao. Ni Hao. Ni Hao, ma. Ni Hao. I can't really pinpoint it to like a specific moment where I was that interested. But Chinese just seemed kind of like electrical engineering that was like mysterious. Chinese was also like that because you have all these characters and so it just seemed like a huge mystery, totally different language. At the same time, like so many people speak it in the world uh, and it's so popular. So I thought it'd be also really useful to learn. <laughs> Junior year, I decided to start taking uh, Mandarin classes. I was really terrible at it at first because uh, I had no experience at all coming into it. I think I did like one of the lowest scores on all of the tests in the class and stuff. And I just really enjoyed it uh, throughout the whole process. Studying abroad, I decided to go to Hong Kong, um, which was still pretty international, but also really close to mainland China where I could uh, easily travel to and like practice more Chinese and learn more about China and the culture there. How are these steel brackets holding up? In high school, I always felt like I could be doing more. So I had all these crazy ideas like coming into college and it just helped me be a little bit more like realistic and kind of like actually learn how to put those ideas into practice. With the electric car team, I had like all these ideas about the car and stuff. And, uh, it was cool like being able to go and talk to my teammates and then like talk about, talk on the whiteboard for like a couple hours and decide how we're gonna build this car. So that's something I've never done before. 